Okay. What? Why is it so loud? I don't know. Oh boy, okay. Much better. It yelled at me. Anyways, um, welcome back to day 207? Yeah, that sounds about right. Anyways, um, our local primaries are right now. Um, so I gotta go vote. So that's fun. I had to go vote. There was a moth over there, so I got distracted. I need to go vote. Um, I got more testosterone, which is fun. I had to go pick that up. Very sweet lady at the pharmacy, as always. Apparently my pharmacy is 24 hours, and I'm like, really? Okay, I'll, 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 that's good. I like that. So, I... Got testosterone. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's the only thing fun and unique I did. Um, yeah. Yeah, I need to get my testosterone shot after this. I also have to take care of all these plants, which I wanted to dust, but it is earlier than normal. So I might be able to do all that. Oh, I also got new allergy meds if I only pick those up. So I can try those out tonight. So, yeah, I... Yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, mm, mm. yeah, I'm so torn, and this is a very trans issue that I know other people have talked about, where kind of like, oh, I want to look like that, and I want to date that or like to like kind of like you don't really know which one's which when you first realize you're feeling this way and that's a big thing with me with like boobs because like boobs are great love that but then i'm like not me that could never be me but then i see myself and i'm like just my boobs and i'm like but what if they were like smaller and then like they fit this really cute bralette or bra and i'm just like yeah but you don't want that i'm like technically and i'm like no not technically you don't want that when you're sitting in your bed you're like oh i wish i had a flat chest you never think ooh, what if i just have tinier boobs it's like yeah but then again when that bralette hits when that bra hits correctly, I don't really have bralettes, my boobs are too big, but like, I have a bra that I took out the wiring of, which I call my bralette, even so, it is still very much a bra, but it looks more like a bralette style. Anyways, when that faux bralette hits, and I'm just like, ooh, I look so good. Oh my god. And I'm just like, but you don't want it. And I'm just like, but what if I do? Oh my god, and it just puts some doubt in my mind, even though in like two days it's gonna be gone. Anyways, always love that little doubt that's in my head. And then one. Um. Uh. And so what happened was that, um. I always have like sometimes you get this like tiny little doubt of like questioning your identity or questioning you know your LGBTness LGBT plusness plusness that's why people say queerness I'm really anyways 
being part of the LGBT community, you always have this like, oh, what if I'm just faking? What if it isn't as big of a difference or a deal as I think it is? Blah, blah, blah. And then these moments hit where you're like, what the hell was I thinking? Like, what? No, that don't, that's nothing. And, um, yeah, it was very funny because, like, I run into this, one of my co-workers, when I first started working there, she was straighter than straight, norm core all the way, and I go up there looking like this, right, looking hot, tattoos, looking like me, and I show up, and it was my first time really being out, especially to, like, the greater world, so I was wearing, like, LGBT stuff on Pride, and everything, um, I love this one shirt, it's like a sweatshirt, I love it, anyways, so what happened was I was wearing this Pride stuff, and she's like, yeah, I'm going to the beach with my husband, and I'm gonna take pictures of boys, and, um, and she thought I was a lesbian. Give it. I never actually told her what I was, so she assumed I was a lesbian. Not the point. So she's like, or she would have thought I was a lesbian if I guess she thought. Anyways, um, so what happened was she was like, "I'm going to the beach. I'm going to take pictures of hot guys there," and the other person was like, "Don't you? Aren't you getting married to your husband? Like you call him your husband? You're getting married to him." like their fiancés and they're like she's like yeah i am but i'll just show basil and i'm just like what i don't want to see a i don't want to see pictures of 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 people that you just took photos of on the beach without their permission but you're just like oh that person's hot that person's hot like i don't want that consent is is by far the sexiest thing out there honey i don't want like that's not a saying like seriously i don't want a picture of a random guy that you took a picture of that he doesn't know you took a picture of him from behind or something or him getting out of the water i don't want that that's not ugh. so anyways so i was like and then but my other co-worker that i talked to she thought i was a lesbian give yeah, it i did I did mention being in, in a somewhat relationship with a lesbian, so, I mean, it makes sense, but it was so funny because she was like, and I'm sitting there with a giant gay LGBT pride shirt that, again, it's like a sweat top, shirt top, I love it, it's so good, <laughs> because I think it's, it's like, done right, they really put energy in it maybe i don't know i really like it anyways um but just the fact that i'm sitting there with a shirt that says gay pre-tea so you know that i'm not straight in some shape or form yet you always kept thinking i was and then in, like those moments I'm like, and then everything she likes she like i would like I mean, I probably wouldn't wear it, but, like, there was a hat that said, like, beach day, and she literally bought it for going to the beach, and then she's like, I'm just gonna get rid of it afterwards, and I'm like, hey, you better be donating, hey, donate your stuff, don't throw it away, because you said throw it away, and I don't want you to just throw away garbage, and by garbage, I mean things you just bought, wore for a week, and then you throw it away, too, that's the shirt that you're, like, or the hat that you need for your vacation is like a beach day it's like so funny to me that i'm like unironically like she's like isn't it perfect because i would be getting it for my beach day but it would be a be beach week or whatever and i'm just like yeah yeah i guess like okay it was just so funny to me that she just absolutely loved this idea of, of like these super normal, unironic things that it, it, she meant it so sincerely, but also it felt like for me playing a role. In many ways, it was, uh, I don't know. Because, like, she would say things like, Oh, when I get want to get married, I want it like this, and I want to have this many kids. And but it's like so cookie cutter, 
And I'm like, you want 2.5 kids? And she's like, yeah. And even so, I know, um, culturally, um, middle names or multiple middle names or longer middle names, but I think really short middle names like yours. I've changed it since then, but you know. Don't, don't tell her. Don't tell her. But my middle name was like four letters. She's like, um, four letters or really short like that. I think it's really cute, but I don't want one of those really long names. And she was really adhering to these ideas that I just don't think I would ever fall into. Like, get married by a blank have this many kids, like, have a girl or a boy, but that you can't gain too much weight. Also, you can't, I mean, I don't want my kid to have, like, she's like, I don't want my kid to have my father's nose, and it skips a generation, and luckily, I don't have it, but I don't want my kid to have it. And I'm just like, you're, you're worried about your kid's nose? I'm like, okay. She's like, yeah, and I would love to have, like, a little girl's so we can shop together and do this together and like dress her up and I'm like you want her or a doll and it was just like for me I'm like you do realize those are human beings you are bringing into the world and anyways it was very very cookie cutter um luckily she didn't mind her husband gained a little weight but she also was kind of negative to it. She's like, if she just went out and worked out with me every day like I do, we you know, he, he would really reach his goal better. And I'm like, your boy works with his hands, I'm pretty sure. Like, he is on his feet all day doing construction work. And you're really going to be like, oh, you should go work out with me. Like, he's doing things. He's really trying. Also, like, he isn't. He isn't fat. Like, he got a tiny little tummy, but, like, he is not, from what I've seen, fat. So I'm just like, would he even... I don't know. I don't know, but I just, like, ooh, she adhered perfectly to every little cookie-cutter idea of here in uh, America, the traditional perfect little family. Um, Which I'm like, if your kid doesn't adhere to it, are you going to be angry? What if you're little girl comes out with your father's nose and is butch you know would you not love her would you not like that these kids by the way kids have personalities they are human you do realize that right like it isn't just something you can just be like oh i want them to be like this for at least as long like kids have personalities you know right like, you can also really mess them up, <laughs> like, a lot, <laughs> maybe figure yourself out first, but, like, she wants a perfect car, she's like, I'm gonna get this car, but then when we have our first baby, we're gonna switch to a, a like, a minivan, but not a minivan, because those are old-fashioned, I guess, now, but, like, a family car, and I'm just like, dude, <laughs> oh, have you ever actually thought about what you actually like, is this what you want or is this what you were told you wanted because i don't want to make fun of her if it's something that she was told that she wanted but if this is actually what she wants it's so fundamentally the opposite of what i want like fundamentally like she's like oh and if it's not my kid you know like my biological kid like no offense but i need my biological kid and i'm just like hell no screw that i don't want a biological kid i'm not going to get married before a certain age or else um if i adopt i want them to be as that one's like can be no if ends or buts from me i don't want to put any of my trauma on them i definitely just won't like i will never make them be like you're cute besides your nose um like that's such a weird because that's what she said about her dad he's like oh yeah he's pretty handsome besides his nose and i'm just like okay note that you know what there's layers there's layers there that i'm gonna just throw up just throw up 
<laughs> throw that away. Um, but yeah, it was like, oh, and uh, I don't know, man. It just was so, so funny to me. Like, it just, it, uh, ugh. Anyways, um, but yeah, with, um, like, some other people, like, I understand, like, okay, you want this, and you can tell they really do, but again, it's just like, I hope she actually wants this, because, like, she did this other thing, too, where she's like, oh, I'm gonna take sexy photos now to give to my husband when we're older or when I'm pregnant, like, around, and she leaves a very particular age. And it's like, if, you know, when I get pregnant or I'm this old, I'm going to give him these photos to remember how hot I was. And I'm just like, why would you do that? I would do that, A, I would do that now. I would just give my partner the sexy photos now to enjoy it now instead of giving it to him when I don't feel 100. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, um... But, two, um, she's, like, making a scrapbook, and she's like, yeah, you know, it's just, like, I thought it was really cute, and I'm like, yeah, I love scrapbooking, but then there was something about it where it was like, are you doing this because you love scrapbooking and you love your guys' photos, or are you doing this because you think this is what a fiancés do? Because I love pictures, like, I love photo albums, I love the idea of them, I love doing crafts, don't get me wrong, but it was like, she's like, it's like pulling teeth to make this, but I love going through our photos, I'm like, okay, cool, it is work, even things you love is work, but it is like, did you actually like it, do you actually, or is this what you're told you want, or should want to do, um, that was also with, um, uh, uh, it was just, like, it was another thing, like, also just something that really threw me off. It's like, yeah, I don't let my fiancé play video games because I don't want him to get addicted to them. And I'm like, I'm, I'm not addicted to video games. I do more than just video games. But just the way that she's like, yeah, I couldn't get let him get addicted. Like, his brothers, they let him have it, like, the brother has an Xbox, and he plays it. I'm like, do you want to have an Xbox and not play it? Let your husband go to his, fr like, his brother's house to play Fortnite, by the way. Like, they're just playing Fortnite. Like, let your husband go play with his siblings Fortnite. Like, but you say you don't allow him to? 